the next kind of acid derivative is ester now ester is formed when we replace OH by OR and these R and R can be different so I have used R dash they can be same as well so uh, this is an ester now suppose I have added Grignard reagent into the system having ester now this ester have oxygen here having lone pair so this oxygen will have a plus M effect giving its electron by resonance to this carbon you can draw the resonating structure you break this bond make the electron shift to the orbital of oxygen and bring in this electron here making a pi bond and the resonating structure will look like this due to this due to this resonance due to this plus M effect of oxygen this carbon is not having great deal of positive charge because the positive charge that it was having because of electronic difference in electronegativity because of shift of electronic density towards oxygen is mitigated by the electron donating nature of this oxygen that means by plus M effect of this oxygen so this carbon is not going to have a charge as high as this acyl in the previous reaction that was having because this chlorine was not giving electron rather it was taking electron but here we have OR so OR will be giving electron it will not be taking electron oxygen is electronegative it will pull some electron by inductive effect but it will give, give more of electronic density by plus M effect than what it pulls by inductive effect so overall nature of this OR will be electron donating so that will mitigate the charge on this carbon that it was there due to electronegativity difference and due to electron shift of this bond to oxygen so one thing that you have to get into your mind fit right now is esters will be very less reactive because the charge on this carbon is not great it's very very less so only very strong reagents will be able to react with ester not weak reagents Grignard reagent have being very strong will be capable enough to react with ester but Latron will see some weaker reducing agents and they will not be able to react with ester but in the case of Grignard reagent Grignard reagent will come in again and attack this carbon that will result again in removal of L pi bond into the orbital of oxygen so again we'll have a negative charge on oxygen a bond between carbon and the alkyl group in Grignard reagent and this OR dash bond will remain as it is now we have broken C double bond o. we have broken we have broken C double bond o, our dearest C double bond o, because we had a negative charge on carbon and we have to get rid of it as well now my system is a stable now again I'll try to form that C double bond o again if there's a scope and here indeed there's a scope because because of the electronic pressure this bond will try to come in and form a bond here carbon is already in tetravalent state carbon is already making four bond carbon cannot make a new bond with oxygen unless it breaks one of the previous bond and here is one of the previous bond which can be broken because when we break this bond and puts the electronic wave of this bond into the orbital of this oxygen oxygen will have a negative charge and oxygen being electronegative atom will be potent enough to hold that negative charge in its orbital and this OR dash minus will be fairly fairly stable so this will happen this OR minus have to leave to facilitate the formation of C double bond O so what we'll have is again a generation of ketone and this OR minus will leave again we have a ketone as we had in case of acyl chloride when chlorine left the reaction the mechanism will be is uh, the same exactly as it is in the case of acyl chloride only the difference being in reactivity acyl chloride in acyl chloride electron <coughs> was being removed from this bond in case of ester electron is being given by plus m effect so except for reactivity the mechanism will be same you had the same attack as you had in case of acyl chloride in acyl chloride you had removal of Cl minus chloride ion in case of ester you will have a removal of alkoxide ion in acyl chloride you had a regeneration of ketone in ester also you had a generation of ketone now once this ketone is formed this ketone cannot remain as it is whenever 
we have a presence of Grignard reagent. This R minus is again unstable. Again, this R minus will come and attack more rigorously because this ketone do not have a plus M effect from this R as it had in case of ester. In ketone, you will only have a weak inductive effect that will be stabilizing the del plus charge on carbon. So this is fairly much more reactive than ester. So this will react with even higher rate that ester had done. So this R minus will come and attack this carbon again. I will remind you when we say attack, attacking means you are putting an electron. And when you are putting an electron from outside, one of the bond of the carbon has to be broken. That will result again in the charge coming on oxygen. And again, one of the CR bond will increase. Again, you have a 3 degree alkoxide ion. And now, at the end of the reaction, once all the Grignard reagent has been consumed, I will add H plus from the outer source, making this a neutral alcohol. So this is the reaction with ester, resulting in the formation of alcohol. The reaction will not stop at the stage of ketone. So the reaction, the final product of both acyl chloride and ester will remain the same. Alright, so now we'll see the reaction of Grignard reagent with amides. Amides are functional groups having C double bond O and S2. This is a amide. This is an organic amide. Now if Grignard reagent is going to react with this amide, <coughs> the first reaction that we have to think of in any kind of situation is acid-base reaction. Whether there is a possibility of an acid-base reaction or not, when I look at amide and when you look at amide, you will find that a hydrogen is attached to nitrogen. So that hydrogen is supposed to be a an active hydrogen because it is attached with an electronegative atom. So there is a possibility of an acid-base reaction. And so when there is a reaction of Grignard reagent with amide, the reaction that we have is an acid-base reaction. This R- minus of Grignard reagent is going to abstract this hydrogen from the amide and form RH bond resulting in formation of an alkane and a negative charge will develop on amide that will be stabilized by resonance with this C double bond O. Now amide has negative charge, now amide is electron rich, now there is going to be no further reaction of Grignard reagent with this amide. So the reaction of amide would be not like the one we had in case of acyl chloride or ester where we had nucleophilic attack because they didn't have any active hydrogen. Amide has an active hydrogen so the reaction of amide would be different than that we had in case of acyl chloride and ester. Here we will have a acid base reaction resulting in formation of alkene having same number of carbon as R group in the Grignard reagent. Now if we have to if now if we have to look for the reaction of Grignard reagent with acid derivative, now this is the structure of an acid derivative where H2O out of these two acids has been removed off, resulting in formation of this O and the C bond of another acid. So this is acid anhydride. Acid anhydride also have a plus F effect of this oxygen on both these carbonyl compounds. So the amount of plus charge polarity on these carbon of carbonyl group will be less from that of ketone because in ketones and aldehydes you don't have plus M effect of any group because in ketones you have R group on both the sides so, so there's only weak inductive effect. In acid anhydride you have a plus M effect so acid anhydride will be less reactive than carbonyl compounds. Acid anhydride will be less reactive than acyl chlorides if you have chlorine in place of oxygen chlorine will be pulling the electron instead of giving but acid anhydride will be more reactive than ester because in ester you have oxygen giving its electron to only one carbonyl group here oxygen is giving electron to both the carbonyl groups from both the sides 
so this this oxygen is in cross conjugation it is in conjugation with both the carbonyl groups so amount of oxygen uh, amount of electron supply to one of the carbon of one carbonyl group will be less than that in case of ester so the de fulfillment of deficiency of electron in case of ester will be much greater than that in case of acid anhydride so ester will be least reactive out of all the acid derivatives nevertheless acid anhydride will be reactive and will show some sh will show some reaction with grignard reagent if I add Grignard reagent, these R can be different and they can same be same as well. I'm I'm using R for all of them, but this R and this R can be different as well, and this R can be different from these two as well. So this 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 this, this R minus of Grignard reagent will not come here because oxygen already having electron, this Grignard reagent is already having electron, and as we have seen before, reactions are nothing but electronic exchange. So electron rich species will not go and approach electron deficient species. So we have electron deficient species here, C plus, C del plus. So this R minus will come and attack any one of these two carbon which is more electron deficient depending upon the R group. If the R group is bulkier then the inactive effect will be more and the fulfillment of deficiency will be more. So the plus charge on these carbon will be less. So depending upon which R group is smaller, there this Grignard reagent will go and attack. So when there is attack, there is a breaking of bond as we have seen already in many reactions. So what we get out of this is Now here we are again in a similar kind of situation that we have been seeing since last two reactions. Again C double bond O has been broken and again we will try to regenerate our dearest C double bond O. And there is a scope of regenerating our dearest C double bond O here because here we are having a good living group. This will be a carboxylate ion if this, this group leaves the substrate because if I break this bond I will give the electron of this bond into the orbital of oxygen because this O minus will come in and form a bond here so carbon have to lose its electron in order to gain the electron of this negatively charged oxygen and the carbon when losing its electron will lose into the orbital of this oxygen so this oxygen will take away both the electrons one of the electron it is its own and the other electron of carbon will also be put into the orbital of this oxygen so this will leave as O minus and that will become carboxylate ion and that will be resonance stabilized by two equivalent resonating structure. So if we do this, if we bring in this negative charge to form a bond here and if we put the electron of this bond into the orbital of this oxygen, from this part we are going to get a C double bond O with R on both sides. That will give us a ketone and from this half we are going to get a carboxylate ion this is a stable being resonance stabilized having two equivalent resonating structure this ketone now is regenerated now this being a stable then only it is possible to remove this group like this because this is a stable group it can leave the substrate and have an independent existence and from this part and uh, now this is not going to participate in reaction any further because this already has a negative charge and Grignard reagent being also having negative charge being also electron rich will not approach this negatively charged electron rich species so now the reaction with this is over nothing we have to talk about this this is electron deficient here we have a electron deficient and carbon having partial positive charge